Right, gotta run, gotta get out of here. Oh, are you having a laugh? Oh, got caught in a trap. Welcome to BBC The Social Gaming, I'm Natalie and today I'm going to be playing Dead by Daylight. So this game has two modes, you can either play as a survivor or a killer. So this is my survivor, Meg, she's super cool, got her all the way to level 50 and as you can see she's got herself some cool perks so she gets a premonition when the killer is coming, she can run really fast, she's really light on her feet and then adrenaline which is a great perk so when the exit gets open and say I'm in the injured state I automatically get healed just like that because of adrenaline. So it's a great one to have. So items, I'm gonna take something in with me to help me out. So we'll burn this one so you get 75% more blood points in the bonus category. So if I get in close range of the killer, um, I'll get some boldness points and uh, with that perk, I'll get 75% more. Okay, we're here. We're in the asylum. Oh look, and I found a friend. Oh, that heartbeat means the killer is coming. So, I'm running for it. Can't afford to get caught right now. Oh, there they are! Oh my god, he's seen me! No! We've literally just started. Oh, that absolute bandit. Okay, I'm just gonna like run in between a couple of things and hopefully lose them that way. Great. I'm done for. I bet you nobody comes to save me. So you can move the left analog stick back and forth to try and wiggle your way out. Oh my god, he's put me in the basement! And he got caught in his own trap! I'm free! Yes! Take that, sucker. Oh. What are you, what are you gonna do? He'll be furious, he'll be raging. Nah, I'm going in the basement. What an absolute tryhard. Who puts people in the basements on the like the first go? You only use that when it's like desperate times called for desperate measures type thing. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, someone's coming for me. Yes, thank you. Right, gotta run, gotta get out of here. Oh, are you having a laugh? Oh, got caught in a trap. Right, I know this isn't like, you know, great sportsmanship, but hopefully he just gets the other guy and I can escape. Oh, he did, he went for him. I'm free! Yes! I wish I hadn't changed to a toolbox though because I kind of need uh, some heals. Oh, I feel bad. That guy's like just hanging there. He sacrificed himself to save me. I'm not lying, like I'm grateful, but I'm just not prepared to go back and get myself caught again. Oh god, right. I'm gonna actually try and have to They're both in the basement! Oh my god, this guy's such a tryhard. Oh Well, I can't go save them because if if I do, I'm done for. If I go back in that hook, I'm dead because I went straight to struggle. Oh no, someone died. Oh, I feel terrible. Not that terrible, because I'm still alive. So, if there's only one person left, the hatch, if you've repaired enough generators, um, will appear and you can escape through it. Okay, the smart thing for me to do would be leave the gens, because the killer will no doubt be patrolling them to find me. And unfortunately, that girl's just gonna have to stay in the basement because if I, I'm one hit and if I go on a hook, I'm dead. So I'm just gonna ignore all my instincts to save everyone and save myself. Okay, she's a goner, she's dead. Need to find a hatch now. So it can be anywhere in the map. Oh, he's there, crap. God, he's so close. Oh, that was close. The fact he's wandering around looking for me makes me think that he's not found the hatch. Shit. Oh, no sign of it! No! Oh. Nah, I've had it. 
tried. At least I outlasted everyone else. Quite pleased with that. Got off to a rocky start, but not bad. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh, okay, everybody's ready. Okay, here we go. So I'm playing as the trapper. So see these things on the ground? I can like set the trap down uh, by pressing L2. There we go. So it's better to hide these in like long grass and things like that just so survivors can't see them. And then these red things are the generators that the survivors need to repair. So as a killer, I can see where the generators are, whereas the survivors can't. So a good thing to do is like patrol the generators and see who's working on them. So that noise over there meant that somebody blew a generator out. So I know that they're nearby. Oh, there they go. Oh, silly ghetto. Oh, it's almost too easy. I feel kind of bad. I'll just set a trap on her. There we go. So I've got to pick her up and put her on a hook to sacrifice her, which also stands out in the map so there's one over here but she's wiggling to try and get away so it's a bit hard to control there you go love you just hang out there one down three to go so somebody managed to get their little friends off a hook so that's something you've got to watch out for but i'm not a camper i'm not a dirty camper and these red scratch marks show me where they have went there's a way you can like lunge but i can't remember how to do it Nah, doesn't matter anyway. She did. So let's get her on a hook. I think we're right next to one. Wonderful. This game brings out my mean streak. I shouldn't really want them to die, but they need to die for me to win. So I'm just gonna set that trap down. Oh, how silly of you. There we go. Oh, there they are, two for one. Right, so they need to prepare five generators before they can get the exits open. Um, and so far they've done three, so I really need to get my skates on. Okay, so I caught her repairing a generator, so what I can do is actually damage it. And then that sets their progress back a bit. Oh, she's struggling, she's gonna die soon! This is great news. And there was another one here, but I want to kind of get her because if I put her on a hook again, then that's where she's dead. <gasps> oh no, they've only got one gen left. Oh my god, I'm doing awful. They've all healed up and everything. I just don't have it in me to kill people. Clearly. Even if I can just kill one person, I'll be happy. What is that all about? You should have ran. If I get her on a hook, she is dead. So she is had it. Oh my god, where did she go? Oh, there. <laughs> oh, she's not doing well, is she? Bless her. Okay, so they've completed all the gens. They're going to get the exit open. And they're going to escape. But if I can just get her on this hook, that's one kill and I'll be happy. There we go. See you later. Okay, so nobody's coming to that exit. There's two exits, so they must be over at the other one. Oh, they all went! Oh, those little... That's fine. I said as long as I can kill one person, I would be happy. I'm not a killer anyway. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Did you enjoy this video? Do you want to see me play more Dead by Daylight? Or do you want to see me play another game of your choosing? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in next time. I'm Natalie Erskine. See you later.